Fresh and Famous Radio. Fresh and Famous, home of the fresh music and famous interviews. Right now, we have a lovely model slash actress on the line. You've seen her on the Ace Hood Bugatti video. She's doing Fashion Week in Miami, pursuing acting, and she's from Germany. So, hello to all the Germany fans, or should I say hello, as they would say it. Matisha, what's the deal, baby? Hello, guten Tag, wie geht's? <laughs> I'm actually, hey honestly, I'm actually learning a little German. Like, I'm learning how to speak German a little bit. Just a little bit. I learned a little bit. I will test you in a little bit. We'll see. <laughs> okay, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So we got you on the line. We got we got Cocaine Katie on the line as our co-host for tonight. Cocaine, what's the deal, babes? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me. Oh, no problem. No problem. No problem. So, Matisha, we want to definitely go in. Both of us want to definitely ask you a few questions and fan questions, uh-huh. of course, um, about, you know, First. basically balancing out acting and modeling. Which one do you like better, by uh-huh. the way? Um, I definitely like um, acting better because that's really what my passion is. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I modeling is also, you know, the artistic side of modeling, I like a lot, too. And, you know, you meet a lot of exciting people during modeling. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it's kind of both connected. So I can't really say I dislike or like this or the other better. Mm-hmm. But if I have to choose, I'll definitely choose acting. Nice. Nice. Katie was acting once upon yeah. a time. She was acting in a... Weren't you in a Denzel film, Katie? <laughs> <laughs> no. That wasn't me that time. Definitely. <laughs> so, Matisha, is it true that you were really in a Dr. Pepper commercial? Um, yeah. I nice. uh, did a Dr. Pepper commercial last year, actually. Mm. Uh, and um, I just talked to the director, and it's going to be released sometime this month. So, Uh-oh. I'm really excited about that. Definitely. Definitely. Like, how How was the... How, how was the whole environment, you know, like dealing with that, you know, like making a commercial? Because we see it on TV, like it only takes three uh-huh. seconds. It, it, it takes like a whole day, but the commercial comes out like in 30 seconds, if you know what I mean. So how, okay, how was the whole environment, you know, doing that? Yeah, I mean, this was a huge commercial, so it was a lot of people sitting beforehand. Like two days before, I had to go to fittings, and then during the commercial, it's like a whole day thing. And, you know, especially if you're the lead, you have to be around, you have to be on set 24-7, and it's no break. Like, I literally had no break. Like, we started shooting, I think, at 8 in the morning, and I got out there at 4 in the morning. Wow. Uh, Sounds but it's all simple. worth it. It's all worth it. People was uh, on the commercial too for the Dr. Pepper commercial, so it was it was fun. It definitely. became fun after. Definitely, definitely. If they are for you a, a big amount of cash, I know for a fact you would take it, especially for a thirty second commercial. <laughs> cocaine, <laughs> cocaine, <laughs> Katie, go ahead. <laughs> cocaine, Katie, go ahead and ask your question. Okay, um, something that really triggered me whenever I was looking at your Twitter was your comment against conformity. So I would like to know what would you change about today's society? Um, I wish I I wish if I had the possibility, I would like uh, people to be more aware of their environment and try to educate themselves a little bit more. Wow. I feel like besides school, um, they should always look out for you know learning and constantly helping each other in the sense of teaching each other and you know that way we'll make the society way better and more educated and more cultivated wow i if i could that's what i would do wow definitely definitely very inspiring matisha on the line right here with cocaine katie and Mm -hmm. jl only on freshandfamous.com so i'm i'm guessing you know you're from germany so i'm guessing you speak uh you're fluent in german right and speaking german Yes, I speak. I, I mean, I was born and raised in Germany, so I speak fluent. And as you can hear, I'm still working on my accent. Mm-hmm. I hope one day I will get rid of it, but um, I'm still having it so far. <laughs> nice, nice. I was actually when I found out when I booked you for the for the interview, I had to like basically open up my books and and check out a few um, uh, just basically how to speak German. So. Okay. I, I think I, you, I'm, I'm going to say something and you have to basically answer it in German. You have to speak German when you answer it. So uh, I don't think Katie's okay. going to know what I'm saying, but it's all good. <laughs> so here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's, it's, <clears throat> okay. Sie magst den Deutsch Männer oder Amerikanische Männer? Amerikanische, definitely. 
<laughs> to all the listeners who are English and don't know how to speak German, that meant, do you like uh, German men or American men? So Maticia gave us the answer for that. And why do you, why, why? Like, give us a reason why. 